yesterday dealing with length. Today we're going to do customary units of weight. So we're going to learn how you can use models to compare customary units of weight instead of length. So these are going to be things that you're going to need to remember also. So ounces and pounds are customary units of weight. It says how does the size of a pound compare to the size of an ounce? So it tells us the number line below shows the relationship between pounds and ounces. Not sure why is your three like mine? Where it's like cut out? Okay. So we're going to use a color pencil to shade one pound on the number line. So use a color, it doesn't matter what color you use, it doesn't say what color, so grab a color. We're going to shade one pound on the number line. <coughs> it says to use a different color pencil to shade one ounce on the number line. So you're going to do. Just pick a color, <coughs> any color. Yes? So let's do the first step. We're going to use a color pencil to shade a pound. So I'm just going to shade from the zero on top down to the one for one pound. I'm going to shade a little bit from zero to one. You can go back over it just a little bit. It doesn't need to be too thick, but it needs to be able to be seen. So I know that there's at least a color there. And then you're going to grab a different color and you're going to shade an ounce. So from zero to one down here. And after we've done that, we're going to compare the size of that one pound to the size of that one ounce. So how many ounces do we need to make? Are we filling this in? We need how many ounces? 16 to make one pound. So from 0 to 1, it's going to take 16 of those ounces to get there. So one pound is how many times as heavy? 16 times as heavy as an ounce. So 16 ounces in a pound. Say that with me. 16 ounces in a pound. Okay. You're going to be able to remember that today, hopefully, because you're going to do a lot of it. It says to explain how the number line helps you to compare the sizes of the units. So how does the number line help us? What is it showing us? Logan? It shows us little dashes to where we need to stop coloring. Okay, and then what do you notice about your coloring? That um, the ounce is more than the pound. Okay, it makes it easier to see, right, when it's colored rather than just looking at it before. Okay, so we could say it makes it easy to see that. 16 ounces, and I'll let you use the OZ abbreviation in a pound. Go ahead and write that out. It makes it easy to see that there are 16 ounces in a pound. So, one pound, and I'll let you use LB, so we get those abbreviations in there too, weighs 16 times as much as an ounce. Okay, we're going to do it as one, but it's keeping us in that change of two. Alright, we know it's one. So, after we put it, makes it easy to see that there are 16 ounces in a pound. I just put a comma. So one pound weighs 16 times as much as one ounce. So basically the same thing as what this right here said, right? Okay. So one pound weighs 16 times as much as one ounce.
so it makes it easy to see for those of you that are still writing it that they are there are 16 ounces in a pound so one pound weighs 16 times as much as one ounce and again as long as you remember that there are 16 ounces in a pound will you have it yes Make sure the page when you're finished writing. Hopefully you will get your picture there this morning. It also talked about a spring space <coughs> being used to measure weight. <coughs> if you've ever gone into a candy store, they have these spring scales and you put your candy on it and it will tell you how much it weighs. It's not the only place you can use it. They're using it for tomatoes here at the club. So you put them in there and then it weighs them on the spring scale. So you will always measure a weight to the spring scale. Why not? It's just another scale that you can use for it. There's ones that you use at the store also that they put on there and they weigh everything for you. It's the same thing, only it's hanging. It's a spring scale. All right, let's talk about some comparisons and some measures here. Nancy needs five pounds of flour to bake pies for a festival. She has 90 ounces of flour. How can she determine if she has enough flour to bake the pies? So let's highlight here our question, which is how can she determine? She has enough flour to bake the pies. Great, what information am I using out of the problem? Five pounds and 90 ounces. So again, just like yesterday, we see that our pounds and our ounces are not the same measurement. So we're going to have to change it to where it is in the same measurement, okay? So we're going to make a table just like we did yesterday with our feet and our inches and our yards. Today we're dealing with pounds and ounces. So as you can see, they listed one, two, three, four, and five pounds on this side. And then they're going to tell you how many ounces are on this side. So one pound times 16 gives you 16 ounces. We already know that, correct? So two pounds times 16 is going to give you how many? Do the math. 2 times 16. Morgan. 32. Make sure you're writing the word ounces. Actually, you can just abbreviate all, all that today. Make sure you're writing it out there to the side. And then put it in the box. So that way we can see it all together. Then we're going to move down to 3. 3 pounds times 16 because there are 16 ounces in a pound. And I'm going to get what? 48 ounces. And again, if you can't do the math in your head, what should I see on the side? Your work. Just to make sure you have the correct answer. So 48 ounces will be the next one in the box for three pounds. And we're going to keep working our way down. Four pounds times 16 again. Still 16 ounces a pound. That hasn't changed, right? So what is 16 times four? 64 ounces. Guys, make sure that your ounces is smaller. See how this one right here kind of looks like this is a 480 with a Z? Are you with me? So make that little ounce symbol just a tad smaller so that we make sure it doesn't look like we see it. And then we'll put it in the box. And the last one, five times, still 16, going to give us 80. 16 times 5, write it out here if we don't remember, just to check, it's not going to hurt you. A little bit of extra work never hurt anyone, bless you. Alright, so our question was, how can she determine if she has enough flour to bake the pies? We did all that work, right? We know that it says 5 pounds of flour is what she's needing, and she has 90 ounces. So if you look, the 5 pounds equaled what? 80 ounces. So we're going to compare the 90 ounces and the 5 pounds. 90 ounces is going to be brought down because we are in ounces, correct? 
Here's where you really get to see if your zero and your O are smaller or different sizes. Your zero should be larger than your O. And then five pounds is how many ounces? Eighty. And what can we say about this? Ninety ounces is greater than eighty ounces. So Nancy has ninety ounces of flour. She needs five pounds of flour. Yes. So ninety ounces is greater than five pounds. So Nancy just has as fine has enough flour to make the pies. So she was needing five pounds, and five pounds is eighty ounces. She has ninety ounces, so she's good. She's got enough. Put it back in the thing and use it for something else later, I guess. Right? Can you use all the flour in your container when you make these? No, so it's just there for the next time. All right, now you're going to try another one because we have another measurement. We did 16 ounces in a pound. Yes? And then I want you to come down here. It tells you that there are 2,000 pounds in one ton. We talked about that when we did vocabulary, but you may have forgotten it. So 2,000 pounds in a ton. Say it with me. 2,000 pounds in a ton. So you're going to fill in this little box down here to match how many pounds are going to be in two and three tons. Now, is it the same thing we were doing yesterday and the same thing we did up top? Yeah, we're going to do a lot of multiplication here if you're noticing. So you're going to take two times what? 2,000, and you're going to get what? 4,000. So two tons is 4,000 pounds. Three tons would be 6,000 pounds. So one ton is how many times as heavy as a pound? 2,000. So all that's telling you is that there are 2,000 pounds in a ton. So your measurements that you need today are ounces to pounds, yes, and then you're going to use pounds to tons. So how many ounces in a pound? 16. How many pounds in a ton? 2,000. I see all these numbers you have to remember? So yesterday we did length, today we're dealing with weight. Is it hard to put ounces in two ounces in a ton? All right, let's take a look here at the share and show. You're going to use those customary units of weight that we just discussed, 60 ounces in a pound and 2,000 pounds in a ton, to complete your paper. So here you're looking at 4 tons is equal to how many pounds. You need to make sure that you're writing in the thinking section. So if you need to go back and look at what they did on the other side, do that. What are you multiplying? Basically, the think section is what is the step you're taking to find the answer, right? Okay. Then two and three, they don't give you the thing, so you don't have to worry about it. Obviously, you're going to think about it on your own, but you don't have to fill anything in. If you want to write it down here, because that's easier for you, fine. Yes? So, with your partner, you're doing one, two, and three. Make sure you're trading off. All right, let's see what we got for these. Number one, four tons is equal to how many pounds? Somebody tell me what you should have been thinking while figuring this out, Doris. Four times times 2,000 because, <coughs> okay, but what are you looking at over here to tell me 2,000? Where did you get 2,000? Okay, so one ton is equal to 2,000. So you took four times times 2,000 and what did you get? 8,000. Do we all agree? All right, let's talk about number two. How many pounds are in five tons? Fred, can you walk us through what you did here? No, not 200. 2,000. All right, good. So he said that one pound was 2,000 pounds, so he's going to multiply that by five. Did you all get 10,000? All right, great. What'd you do for three? Okay. So what did you do with the 16? You didn't minus anything, sir. 
what's the 